but I have been doing things a bit differently and I haven't been getting any cysts on my chin which was what was going on like a month before Hey guys, it's Sue here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just wanted to do a quick update on my chin acne and my acne in general. Now, I did just post up a skincare routine for the fall, but I didn't really mention anything about my acne there because I did kind of want to make a separate video to explaining what's been going on. And just before we start, guys, I just want to say that this is just an update. I honestly don't have anything definitive or definitive. I don't have anything declarative to say it is really an update about what's been going on but I have been doing things a bit differently and I haven't been getting any cysts on my chin which was what was going on like a month before so yeah let's start basically this is how my skin looks like obviously as you guys know I don't really have a lot of problems around this area like sometimes I do get a little breakout here now and then but they're not a, like a huge problem to me I guess my most problematic area is as you guys know my chin area as you can see it's still not 100% clear I still do have a lot of redness but all of them or all of these are scarring and hyperpigmentations from my previous acne and I do have a little posture right here but this is very very minor compared to what I've been used to getting so that was just a quick update on how my skin is right now and I think if you've been watching my acne videos you guys can tell that I've definitely improved a lot right <laughs> Right guys? And because I have battled my chin acne for a very long time, I have literally tried most of the things that is said to help your acne. So I've tried eating, you know, the cabbage smoothie, making myself a green juice smoothie every single morning. I try cutting down all the dairy and gluten, like white flour based foods, cutting down all foods that are like processed and very high in sugar and salt and very greasy foods. And I've also, what else have I done? Oh, and I've also tried taking care of my gut health. Out of all the methods that I've tried, I will say the cabbage juice for me was the most effective. It did really bring a change to my whole acne and my health in general. But none of them really seemed to really solve the problem, I guess, because it always kept coming back. So before I just used to get like postural acne with pus on them. But starting from this year, summer, I started getting these cystic lumps on my chin where there weren't any postures, but it was just like this huge lump that had no clear opening and it just hurt like AF and basically I was trying out all these different methods so as a kind of like a last resort I started taking birth control pills so this is the one that I'm taking right now and I've actually had a lot of comments tell me that birth control pills actually help them with their hormonal acne especially on their chin and I've also had a friend whose biology teacher said birth control pills are a great way to really level and control your hormonal levels and so really as a last resort I started taking birth control pills and I still don't know a lot about birth control pills I'm not a pharmacist or a doctor or a dermatologist or a gynecologist so please don't quote me on anything that is why I say this video is an update because I really don't have anything you know sure to share with you guys I'm just really sharing what's been going on with my skin so going back to the birth control pills it's been about like a month and a half since I've been taking them and this isn't actually the pill that I started with I used to take the Boshiron which is I guess more of a common birth control pill brand in Korea so I used to take that and then I after I was done with that box I went to the pharmacist or the local pharmacy and I asked for a new box and I actually told the pharmacist there that okay, I'm taking these pills for my hormonal acne and he recommended this to me instead because he told me that this had lower levels of estrogen in it so it's healthier for the body I guess so ever since I've been taking birth control pills I have not been getting any cystic or postural acne this is just like a minor like a happening I guess my chin got bored or something it's been clearing up really really well so now I'm just focused on trying to heal my chin with a lot of Sika Sika products and a lot of skin berry products so I have been doing a little bit of research online and because we all know how reliable the internet is please take this video and and please take what I say with a grain of salt but basically I read that all of our body we all have estrogens and androgens our body fluctuates in all these hormonal levels and sometimes when the androgen level becomes too high what happens is that androgens basically produce more sebums that can clog up the pore and it can also induce the 
growth of these acne bacteria so what these birth control pills are doing here they're basically inhibiting the level of androgens that are being produced in her body so we produce less of that sebum and all that so I guess that's what's been happening I guess I've been getting too many androgens or something by the way guys I'm not saying like this is the best birth control pill I just this was the one recommended to me but I do feel like the best way is to see a gynecologist and I'm not sure for how long I'm going to be taking these birth control pills I did ask a pharmacist like a friend of my sister who is a pharmacist and I asked hey is it okay for me to take these birth control pills for my acne and she said the pharmacist said that as long as I didn't have like a history of breast cancer it was fine so I that's why I kind of started taking them so that's one of the things that I've been doing and it's been clearing up really well and the second thing I'm doing differently is that I've completely changed up the way how I cleanse my skin and this definitely affects my overall skin health as opposed to you know specifically my chin area so basically because I have so many products to test out for you guys I'm doing review videos sometimes I end up wearing makeup every single day of the week and that is obviously not good for the skin so whenever that happens I do end up getting little bumps on my skin and one of these happening but after I've kind of incorporated this new cleansing method I guess it hasn't been as bad as it should be or used to be so basically first I remove my eye makeup and all the mascara with oil cleansers I think for me that is the best way for me to remove that without irritating that because I don't want to tug at my eye so that's like the same I've always removed my eye makeup with oil cleansers and the oil cleanser I'm using right now is the Neogen one my cellular oil cleanser which is really really great I do love it but for my Skin. instead now I have just been using these two products I'm just gonna show you guys like this so first this is a soap from pure May and this is just a cleansing soap but what I love about this is that this does not dry your skin out it does remove your um, makeup very very well and it forms bubbles very well and usually for most part if a product removes your makeup well and it forms a lot of bubbles they tend to be very drying and I do feel like it's strips away all the hydration from my skin but this one doesn't it really feels like my skin is still hydrated after using that and then for the second step I've been using this Etude House Sunjang pH 6.5 whip cleanser and this is pH 6.5 so it's very very mild on the skin and so I have been using this as the second step so I guess using all these products with these low pH is great because it is similar to the skin's pH and I guess that is the optimal case that you want when you're using cleanser so yeah I've been just doing two things differently and it has been doing wonders my skin isn't as horrific as it used to be so yeah I guess that's it for today's video it is definitely an update guys still need to look for more information in terms of what is going on and how this birth control pills work is it safe to take birth control pills and is it safe to take it for a long period of time so don't forget to like subscribe and follow me on Instagram so we can hang out more and I'll see you guys in the next ciao